Okay, let me teach you about keys. We have what we call keys on on the acoustic guitar. You have keys on other instruments like the keyboard. You have keys on the lead guitar. You have keys on bass guitar. We have keys on trumpet. We have keys on saxophone. It means when we talk about keys, like the point of origin for the tonic surface, it's like where do starts from. So when you hear keys, like where do start from? So you can start do from anywhere. When we start do from a particular point, then you call that the key. For example, we start do from here. Then go to. Then this is a key. Because you are starting do from here. If you start do from here. Start do from here. Then this is a key. Okay, so the keys are named alphabetically. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then go back to A. You understand? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then go back to A. In between these keys, we have what we call sharps or flats. A sharp is just a key that is in, it's higher than the previous key. So we say A and B. The key between A and B is called A sharp because it's higher than what A. I don't know if you understand. Okay, let me show you something. On this guitar, when you strike, you strike string six without depressing any frets. These are the frets I told you. Without depressing any fret. When you depress, you see that the sound changes. But if you don't depress any fret and you just strike, we call that an open string. And for string six, the open string is key E. The next one, string six, fret one. This is fret one. This is string six. The key is key F. So you see that after E, the next key is F. And everywhere on this guitar, E is close to F. After F, the next key is G. After G, the next key is what? A. I told you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then A. So you have E, F, G, A, we have B, we have what, C, B is close to C everywhere on the guitar, E is close to F everywhere on the guitar, you see, so we have key E, key F, key G, key A, key B, key C, remember I say keys are points of origin, so if I say this is key E for example, this is key F. I only mean that you start do from here. You start do from here, you call it key F. You start do from here to leave you on key F. This will be do, this will be re. Remember tone, mi tone, fa semitone. If you remember, so tone, la tone, si tone, do semitone. So tone tone semitone, tone 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 semitone. Okay. So this is key E, key F, key G. That means you start do from here. Do re mi fa so. I hope you understand now. So between key F and key G is a space. So it should have a name too. Do you understand? So if this is key F and this is key G, I say we name keys in between according to their relativity. You know, it reminds me of Albert Einstein, theory of relativity. I hope you know that. Yeah. Talk about mass, energy, and how they are related. 
Okay, now this is music. Between key F and key G, we have a key here. That is, we can start from here to do. Not so. It's like that. So, so far. So, we should give this one to a name. So, what do we call it? We say F sharp because it's higher than F sharp. Don't you school if they say someone is sharper than you, then the person is higher than you intellectually understand. So this F, this F sharp, we start from here. Instead of doing do re mi, we decide to do do re mi. It's higher, so it's F sharp. Or you can call it this is G, this is F, this is G. This is G when I start from here. This is F. So this key between. You can call this G flat because it is flatter than what G. So that's how we name keys. If you have F here, I have G here. The key between is named relatively. So they all have two names. Keys in between have two names. For this one, it is F sharp or G flat. Okay. Between G and A is another key. Do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, mi, fa, so. So a key that can sing so wonderfully should be given a name. Not so. Okay. So this is between G and A. So we should call it G sharp because it's sharper than G. Or what? A flat. So this one has two names. Either this is G, this is A. So you either call this G sharp or what? A flat. So this is G sharp or A flat between G and A. G and A. So between A and B, there's another key. This key is between A and B, so you should, you should know this will also be what A sharp or B flat. Okay, so that's how we name keys. So we start from here. Open string is E for string six. Open string for key for string five. This the key. Open string key 5 is what? A. So open string here is E. So we continue alphabetically. F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E. Like that. So this is for string 5. This next string is string. I know I tell you, we we'll name from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For string 5, the open string without striking anything. You notice that the tone increases, the pitch increases, that is, it gets higher. So the open for this is E string 6. Open string for string 5 is what? A, key A. We continue alphabetically. B, B, C, B, and C are closed. D, E, F, E, E and F are closed, just like here, E and F, E and F, you see? You see, you understand? So open string for the key, open string of key, but of, um, see me. Open string for string 5, the key is A. So this E for string 6, the open string is key E. String 5, open string is A. String 4, open string is what? D. String 3, open string is what? G. That's the key, G. String 2, open string is B. Then string 1, open string is key E again. So we have E and E. See. See, they have the same sound, but they have the same key. Okay, so that's it. So, open strings string six, key E, string five, key A, string four, key D, string three, key G, string two, key B, string one, key E again. E, A, D G B E E A D G B E Thank you